Today's experience is one that I found extremely eye-opening. While reading Loved a Transcendent Journey by Mary Dayoma, I knew that I wanted to do an excerpt from her book. I know that I have been doing a lot of excerpts the last couple videos. I just believe that a lot of people need this one right now, more than anything. And although it isn't a near-death experience, it is spiritually transformative for all. I hope that you all enjoy. I want to share my story with you to let you know that this is something that is possible. And for those thousands or millions of people that have already experienced something like this, I can be another validation for you. I was lucky enough to experience something very special. I had a moment of enlightenment, a moment of actual direct contact with God. It happened at a time in my life when I was experiencing a personal tragedy. I was driving down the road and I felt so much pain in my heart that my heart was breaking. I was angry. I felt like I had done everything right. I felt like I followed all the guidance that I received from God. I felt like I had made the right choices, but still, the situation was heartbreaking. So I'm driving along and I'm really angry with God and finally I decided to ask myself, what would Mother Teresa do in this situation? And it came to me immediately, Mother Teresa would love anyway. And then I asked, what would Jesus do in this situation? And it came to me immediately, Jesus would forgive his enemies. People that hurt me, I forgive them. And then I asked, what would Muhammad do? And it came to me immediately, Muhammad would submit. And I understood it in a way that I never understood it before. I understood that meant to turn my life over to God, to humbly ask God to help me, to take this pain from me. And I did. I imagined my heart going out to God. In that moment, a beam of pure white came out of the sky and came down and touched me on my shoulder. I was so filled with love, it's impossible to describe how much love there was in that moment. All the love of the world filled my whole entire body. Every cell in my body was completely infused with this love. It was the love of a parent for their precious child. In the same moment, I recognized that I always knew this, that this truth was always there for me. I was remembering and not just learning something new. I was remembering I am part of this love. I am God and God is me. It doesn't really convey the truth to say the words. It doesn't come close. As this beam touched me, suddenly I was viewing this scene of the road as I was driving from three different places. I was seeing it from my body. I was seeing it from the passenger seat and from the passenger seat, I could see it from my intellect. I was observing clearly the edges of the beam and thinking, that's not light. The view is at the top and it came to a point on my shoulder and it came through the window and it touched me. It had contact. It wasn't until later that I could really process that information, but I was taking it all in. And from behind the back passenger seat, I was all in love, just emotion, an incredible amount of emotion. And then my soul went out of my heart. My soul went up the beam, and as it went up the beam, I felt so connected to all souls. As I reached the top of the beam, I rippled out in concentric circles, and I became one with every soul on the planet. Then my focus shifted, and I became one with all the trees on the planet. Physically, I could feel that I was in a tree, and I was looking at another tree in the forest, which was me looking back at me. It was so incredible. And then I was all the grass and I was looking at a blade of grass next to me that was me looking back at me. It was amazing. Then my focus shifted and I was a rock on a mountain. I was the earth. And that really surprised me because I never imagined that inanimate objects are filled with God consciousness. Then my focus shifted again and it was all of the entire universe, the complete entire universe. So humongous. At the same time, I don't know how, but I could see the smallest, tiniest particle, what the universe is made out of. It was this massive, uniform field of particles. At the tiniest level, the tiniest particle, smaller than anything we can record, it was pure white, sort of a radiant light. This particle was pure energy. But more than that, this particle that everything in the entire universe is made out of is love, a tangible love that is the stuff of God. It just blew me away. It was awesome. I went beyond the universe into pure consciousness. I've heard it called the void, but that doesn't come close to describing what it was. It's not anything you can describe, which is so frustrating because I so want to let you know what it's like. 
It is pure potential, pure consciousness prior to actualization. It doesn't look like anything. It's outside of time and space. It isn't close to anything you can describe in the physical universe. But it was so amazing, so full of love, so incredible. Whatever pain, woo, that was gone. There was no pain left over. I realized that at the same time all of this was happening, I was driving along the road. The whole thing didn't take more than a second and a half. There was a sign, a building next to the exit that I was just getting off of, that was illuminated in the bookstore. I got it that God wanted me to go to that bookstore. So I did. I made that split-second decision. Oh, this really happened. And I turned the wheel and I went on the exit to get to the bookstore. And I went to the bookstore. And then I was back into myself, totally, completely realizing myself as normal. Now here I am in the bookstore and I'm like, okay, now what? That does it for this experience. If you are interested in checking out Mary's book, it is available on Amazon. Let me know what you all thought of her experience. And if you have already read her book, what did you think of her book? I can't wait to see the comments below. Until next time, stay safe and continue to be blessed.